sponsor Prophetic Drive Time. I'm Eli Laskin. Let's get into this word. So as I was talking to the Lord this morning, saying, Lord, you know, do you have anything for the uh, for your people today, Lord? Uh, I heard the words, bring it under divine protection. Bring it under divine protection. And I was like, Lord, well, what, you know, all right, well, what, is that? what do you mean by that? And he was showing me that the enemy is attacking uh, many of you uh, based upon what you care about, you know, based upon what you are, what, what's in your heart, what you care about, you know, the, the things that you care about. He's trying to touch to see where he has an entryway into you, where he has, where he could gain an advantage over you. So he'll touch some things, he'll touch your body, he'll play with your kids, he'll, you know, he'll play with your money, he'll touch, you know, because he wants to know where he should center his attack. And the Lord was showing me that bringing it under divine protection means to give it to God. You know, um, if if the enemy's uh, uh, attacking you and your body and, and your mind, some of you, it's not necessarily a physical uh, a physical uh, uh, ailment that you're suffering from. Uh, and some, and, and it, for some of you, it is. But the Lord was like, bring it under divine protection. The enemy's tampering around to see what you care about. You see, his advantage is, the reason why the Bible says the enemy goes around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may destroy, is because he can't destroy everyone. You know, he can't destroy everyone. He can only destroy those who who have, uh, where there's care, where there's worry. You know, that's why he said, cast all your cares and take no thought. That's why the Lord says, cast all your cares and take no thought and, and uh, for nothing. You know, Jesus said, don't care about anything. And he would, and the, the revelation to that is he was telling you not to care about that because God cares about you and that God provides for you and that it is God who is responsible for, for, uh, uh, for protecting you, for healing you, for keeping you. But the enemy, but wherever you have, but wherever you have issues, wherever you have issues of care, glory to God, wherever you have issues of care, that's saying it's not in God's hand, it's in my hands. And the enemy is seeking you, whatever's in your hand, he wants to touch. But God is saying when you put it under divine protection, you place it under his hand, glory to God. And he says, whatever you place in my hand, the enemy knows not to come trifling with it. Because Jesus has already beat, defeated the enemy. You see, and we're not walking in the fit. Mm, glory to God. And the Lord says we're not walking in the finished work of Jesus Christ because we are too we are too careful and 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 and, and fearful about many things. We've allowed the enemy to make it about us when we should be re redirecting the enemy to God. That's not about me. That's about God. Glory to God. You see, that's not my issue, devil. That's God's issue because I belong to Him. Glory to God. And He will never show up to God's doorstep with the fight. <laughs> you see, because he knows, look at how the enemies treated Christ. Uh, the, 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 there was a man uh, who was possessed with the devil when uh, 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 Jesus and his disciples went over to meet him. The Bible says that they ran and fell on their knees and worshiped him and saying, oh Lord, have you come to torment us before it's time? You see, they didn't even want to, they didn't even, they didn't want no dealings with Jesus. Let me tell you something. The Lord is saying, your enemies want no dealings with Jesus. They want dealings with you. That's why they try to make all the issues and the matter about you. But God says, you got to bring it under divine alignment, under divine authority, and under divine protection by saying, Lord, I belong to you, Lord. Uh huh. Uh, my children, oh, they belong to you, Father. My provision, that belong to you, Lord. You are my sustainer, Lord. You know what you said to me, Father. You're my provider, Father. You're my provider. Oh, this house, Father, I, you're the one who gave it to me. Uh-oh. You see, some of you, see, uh-huh, you've been, uh, oh boy. See, if you've been thinking that you are the reason for your season, <laughs> if you have been thinking, the enemy always wants you to believe you are the reason for your season. Glory to God. The reason for what you have, the, the reason for what you have. But when you realize it is God who gave, if the, if, 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 if the, if the provisions and the enemies come knocking, you just redirect them to God. Oh Lord, well, I thank you, Lord. You bless me with this house, Lord. And if it's, and, and Lord, if this is no longer the house you, you, you want for us, Lord, you got another one for us, Lord, then we accept that one, Father. You see, th that way, mm, glory to God. God says, I want you to be free from the trappings of this world. Glory to God. And the enemy's always trying to reconnect you to the natural realm. God says, I'm always trying to bring you into the spiritual realm. I'm always trying to bring you deeper into me and so that you're not always connected to these things. Not because I don't want you to have he said, I got plenty of things for you to steward over. 
He said, but I don't want you to be under bondage of any. Mm. I don't want you to, be, I don't want it to become a form of bondage for you for because the, the enemy's coming around to see what moves you, what gets you to be in a place of unrest. He'll touch some stuff. And when you sit there, when you, when you are sitting there like, uh, I'm not moved by that. That belongs to God. I'm not worried about that, right? You got to give it to God. You got to give it to God. You got to give it to God. Bring it under divine authority. And that's really the graduation and the maturation of things. That's why Jesus said, if they ask you for your coat, give them your jacket too. If they ask you for your shirt, give them your jacket too. He said, stop being so connected. If they, if they, uh, 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 if they uh, uh, defraud you in the matter, you know, your brothers really, if they defraud, let it go. Right? He why? He's saying because I don't want the I don't I'm not I don't want to create an environment where the enemy has constant advantage over you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, I desire to set you free from all of the van the advantages the enemy has over you by connecting you to things that perish. Mm-hmm. I have one house. Well, Lord, give me another one. Right? You know, my children. My children. So you say, okay, well, well. Lord, they belong to you, Lord. And I thank you that you love them, Father, more than I do, Lord. They are yours. You gave you gave them me to steward over them, Father. And I'm thankful for them, Father. And I pray for them, Father. And I bless them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. But they belong to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. You see, I'm not going to allow my, my children to become an issue of, of torment to me. And then the problem with that is it's twofold. Because as long as the enemy is because the enemy is trying to get to you through your children because he knows how you feel about him. So what's happening is he will increase his attacks upon them just to try to get at you because he knows that's that's your Achilles heel, that's your weakness, glory to God. So God is saying, if you give it all to me, then I will take responsibility for it. <laughs> to God, my finances, Lord, my finances, oh Lord, the enemy's touching my finances. And you simply, Lord, you are my provider, Lord. You are my provider, Father. You provide all things. I'm not going to worry about finances, Lord, because you said, uh-oh, because you said, Lord, you will supply all of my needs according to your riches in grace, your riches in grace, Father. So you are responsible for providing for me, Lord, because I don't, I, I'm not, listen, I didn't bring myself here. You brought me here, Father. You brought me here. I belong to you. I'm your problem. So I'm not going to worry. I'm going to enter into, I'm going to enter into rest. And by entering into rest, I'm entering into divine authority and under divine protection. God is saying for somebody today to, 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 uh, uh, to come under divine authority and divine protection. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, God has led me to do this thing. God has led me into this marriage. It's a little rocky right now. Right. And then you, you so worked up and so stressed and so so uh, uh, tormented behind it that the enemies has increased his attack on your marriage because you can't settle and say Lord well you gave me this marriage father I'm not gonna worry about it father I'm not gonna worry about it father what is my position what is my disposition in this marriage Lord and I'll do that thing but I'm not gonna worry about it father because you put this thing together father so I'm going to do the things that you have called me to do as a husband, Lord. I'm going to stay faithful, Lord, to your to your your will and your 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 decree, Lord, for for me in this hour as a husband or as a wife. What do you call me to do? But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to worry. I'm not going I'm not going to take it into my own hands so the enemy can 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 multiply his attacks because the enemy is we're at war people we are at war glory to god and we have not been using the uh the arsenal available to us because in our own strength the enemy that's where the enemy always wants us to be in our own strength in our own power and we haven't been tapping into the power of god and god has said bring it under authority bring it under divine authority bring it under divine protection glory to god let God says, allow me to move. Allow me to do it. God says, if you if you work, I'll rest. But if you rest, I'll work. So that's my word for you today. God says, bring it under divine authority, under divine protection. And that's my word for you today. God bless you all. Love you all. Talk to you soon.